Well, hello everybody, look at this, we made some progress with my videos and in today's episode we're gonna make this type of ways for 3D printing with help of Fusion 360. Let's get started. So, here we are sitting in the Fusion 360, all the settings are stock except the environment color that you can change here, environment, gray room that what I like and it's easier for my eyes so let's start like always create a base for our waist select the sketch tool select the top plane and make a circle with 115 millimeter diameter okay finish the sketch and now let's extrude it up to 200 millimeters great let's quickly change the color of our bodies here here appearance let's check some paint here power coded powder coat rough and grab it and drop it on the outer lean great so for now let's make another sketch and make us choose whatever plane you want side plane make a rectangle like this let's add some dimensions 25 by 25 and we need to center it out by adding another dimension from one side to the center of our origin great let's finish the sketch let's extrude it okay uh, pa -pa -pa -pam. we need to choose here some offset the number works for me 74 two sides first distance will be 6.9 minus 45 degree second distance will be 20 ah, okay and operation will be join so what we're trying to achieve here is hide the outer counter of our box inside of our cylinder okay join make okay now we need to repeat this pattern all over our cylinder for this we will use circular pattern tool select type features on the timeline on the bottom here choose the features that we created before our rectangle select axis green line here and quantity will be 18 okay now we need to extend this or repeat this all the way up with help of rectangular pattern tool uh, again select the features select the previous two features select the directions that will be the y axis and here in fusion what i really like and it's the only one things that i like in fusion that you can grab and just bring it up here 175 and let's say eight yep works great okay so if you're satisfied with the result like this you can export it like a still and print it but let's add the cut that I do on my always. It's famous for our project technique. For this, let's make create a sketch on the top plane. Make a line from the center like this. Finish sketch. Oh, one step, one important step that I forgot about. Let's copy this body. Choose body one, copy okay and let's scale this body down second body should be scaled down select the body number two point deselect here and select the origin here non-uniform scaling can point a nine eight point nine eight okay great we have two bodies one original one scaled down we have a sketch let's make some extrude operation I mean cat operation tin 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 we need to cut it objects to cut uh, don't forget to choose the scenic root option choose the profile and move it to something like this okay center point eight works great for me every time objects to cut only the body number one that not scaled okay we have the first cut, let's repeat it on our ways with pattern, circular pattern, select the features that we did. The first cut, 
select the axis, select the y axis number that works okay 180 let's say optimize it let's try it great and we have this nice striped pattern but let's again make something different let's delete it and let's delete the first cut let's make a sketch on the whatever side plane and it's really hard to choose the side plane because all of this geometry make errors so let's hide our bodies select the side plane and make our bodies visible again select the rectangle tool make it make sure it's on the line like this at some dimensions 25 by 25 and let's center it out like we did it before fusion 360 is really going hard on me with the selection tool and we need this geometry only for construction so let's select it all and press x not it's not worked y normal construction okay let's make another line that really need us and the second line make sure it's aligned with the previous point on the bottom here and let's extend it all the way up with the rectangular pattern select first line select second line grab it up up until here and make a four yep then add some lines on the top okay and on the bottom of our sketch okay finish the sketch operation now we need to extrude all the things to make a cut let's hide our bodies i don't like them until we make a cut select the scene cut scene extrude select the whole sketch make a direction make an offset let's say 50 okay let's add this direction okay wall thickness 0.8 side center it operation cut and we need to show our body our first body operation objects to cut first body okay great now we have this now we have this more interesting result and let's repeat it like we did it with a straight cut with help of throw core pattern tool select the features select the axis optimize it okay let's try it and wait a little bit for operation to be complete and we have an error okay don't worry let's make another try features the adjust type of operation and press ok voila it's take me like from three to five minutes to wait maybe you will be lucky enough and try to make the circular pattern with circular with optimized or adjust compute option but anyways we got what we want and we need to all we have to do is combine this two so as i said before make sure that these two bodies are visible here modify combine tool select first select second wait for a little bit until it unfreeze congratulations we have our one unit body and to simplify our printer to help this first layer because of these ribs it will be really hard to lay the first layer we need to make some extrude extrude not this we need to make a sketch on the bottom of our ways Select the bottom plane, make a cylinder with 180 
150 uh, I can't speak English so long and let's finish the sketch and extrude it sketch select the sketch number five to hide the body <laughs> Tell me please in the comment what's going on with Fusion 360 and the selection tool. This is a nightmare. Why I just can't select my sketch and extrude it? Why? So let's hack the system. I know one trick. Let's delete the sketch. Let's make a cylinder command like this from center 150 and up to 10 new body okay now we need to make a chamfer chamfer here and 0.68 you need to be this height the same as your first layer height okay and we Looks like we don't have enough battery life on my laptop, so let's quick let's finish this stuff. Let's combine these bodies together again. One, two. Okay. And this was kind of quick, surprisingly. And congratulations, we finished our model, now we need to export it. For export, in you can use the utilities like make a 3D print, but I don't know, let's try to export, let's say one, let's say STL file. And it tells us that we need to save it first. Okay, save it. <laughs> Come on. Save should be kinda be easy. What the heck? So now let's export it as STL file to our desktop. Export. And it's strange because exporting Castell Infusion 360 take me a lot of time. So let's close it and let's try the utilities. 3D print STL millimeter 222 Kura. Okay. Select the body, press OK, and let's open up a Kura. <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> Body one is still that's that's a cool feature, I guess. And often in the cut software, the axis not the same as the core axis. Let's rotate it and try to slice it. So sorry for this long video, but I believe that you got a point of how to create this way this Infusion 360 because someone asked, was asking me about it. Yeah, and all works well. So for this particular way, I'm using one millimeter nozzle diameter and spiralized out contour, and that's it. Hope you guys learned something new today. Subscribe to my channel and watch these videos and watch other my videos. Bye.